So the last book sale that I went to, the Friends of the Library book sale, I went to last Saturday, not three days ago, but the one before that. And I got a few more things, and I hope, just for the sake of me making these videos, that it's the last one for a while. I got, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine? Nine more books. So I just wanted to uh, put these up and show you what I got. <clears throat> the first one, I, I have no idea how I made it through college without a copy of this, but that somehow managed to be the case. Um, Critique of Pure Reason by Kant. I mean, um, anyone who's seen my uh, my library shelf tours uh, has seen how many philosophy books that I have, even ones by Kant, and I just didn't have this one. And it's by far probably the, the most read uh, book of Kant's, so I'm glad that I finally have a copy of it. Another one, they had a section of sort of old, torn up uh, hardbacks, and I found this. I was really excited to find this because I think it's out of print. It's Elias Canetti's uh, Auto de Fe, which is one of his novels. Um, I've always uh, wanted to read this. I've never read anything by Kennedy before, and I, I know that he's supposed to be a great writer, so I'm really curious to eventually getting around to this. This is a 1962 edition, I think. I also found this, as you can tell, the glittery, the sort of reflective cover. This is um, Evelyn Waugh's Vile Bodies. sticker off. Again, these were all 50 cents or a dollar. A couple of the paperbacks were a dollar. This is um, from a pretty reliable publisher. It's called Triangle Classics. You can probably guess what they specialize in. Uh, but uh, this one is called Bertram Cope's Year, and it's by a gay writer I'd never heard of named Henry Blake Fuller. And um, I just got it because of the because of the publisher. I've read a couple of other things. This is how I was introduced to um, Alan Hollinghurst, by the way, through uh, through Triangle Classics, and ended up enjoying some of his stuff. So uh, I thought I would read this too. Next up is uh, still another book by Julian Barnes, uh, an author whom I haven't read yet, but I keep getting everything. I can buy him. This is A History of the World in Ten and a Half Chapters. Also, I was reading another book lately, and I came across Robert Heilbrunner's name, and vaguely recognized it, but didn't know what he was known for. And I looked him up, and this is basically what he's known for. Uh, his book called The Worldly Philosophers. The Lives, Times, and Ideas of the Great Economic Thinkers. Not philosophers, but uh, ec economists. And it has a picture of Adam Smith, uh, Malthus, John Stuart Mill, Henry George, Karl Marx, and John Maynard Keynes on the front. And, th and there are a few others. This looks like it might be a little popular for me, but um, I thought it would be interesting. It was, I think, first published in the 50s. So... Um, I certainly wouldn't claim that I know anything about economics, so this might be a, a, a foot in the door for me. They also had this biography. It's called Machiavelli in Hell, and it actually won the Pulitzer Prize for biography in 88 or 89, I think. It's by Sebastian de Grazia. And it's uh, just a biography of Niccolo, Machia Ma Niccolo Machiavelli. Next up, I got uh, The Revenge of Geography, What the Map Tells Us About Coming Conflicts, and The Battle Against Fate by Robert Kaplan. And the last thing I got 
was a book that I think is around here somewhere but I don't know what kind of condition it's in and I just wanted another one for whatever reason and this one is in beautiful condition I think this is the original 1969 um, I don't know if it's the first printing but it's um, it looks like it's rather old but it is in wonderful condition um, none of the pages are or dog-eared or marked in or anything like that but it's present at the creation by Dean Acheson who was of course uh, Harry Truman's Secretary of State and had a really big part in getting the United States involved in the Korean War and this is supposed to be really one of the most important uh, political autobiographies of the 20th century so I'm really really interested in reading this too if you guys have read any of these or uh, want me to talk about any of these, uh, let me know. I'll leave comments down below, and um, I'll see you guys later. Take care.